Yeah. Now you also wrote two books. Mm -hmm. And you said For earlier, sure. you're not a writer. <laughs> What's going on? Well, <laughs> well, editors, yes, Jason. <laughs> editors. <laughs> when right. I was in New York, I needed to get a radio station behind me. And I was still working. I was running the elevator. Bill was gone. And I was writing the logger. And I sent stuff to WOKO, Jason. It's a country station you know, up here. It was just turned to country. And the GM got back to me. He said, yeah, I'll, I'll maybe sponsor you. You know, send me your stuff. So I went right to Kathy Doyle, six hours away, the boss at that point. I said, Kathy, I got this meeting. And I could go and come and go anytime I wanted because I was doing auditions. I got to go up and I got to go to Vermont by tomorrow. So I went up, put that, and I didn't put my stuff on his desk. I was there. And he said, yeah, you can call in and we'll sponsor you for these next five shows and call in in the morning. And I left that office that day, at the station. I said, well, if something ever happens with this, I could be calling in all, you know, once a week. And I've been calling in once a week for 26 years in that radio station. But I was on that radio station. A publisher who had the six papers over in Elizabethtown, New York, across the lake arena. He called me up. He said, hey, uh, would you like to write columns? I said, well, I'm not a writer. He says, well, just, I got to have, have a whole bit about that. It's kind of funny, but anyway, I don't know adjectives and verbs. That's what I mean. I didn't know I could put together a column. And I said, yeah, I'll try it. If I can write about anything I want, and it can be as long as I want it to be or short as I want it to be, and no one edits it. And he said, yeah. So for seven years, I was in six papers. I was making like 300 a week, just writing columns. But I would only do it if they were gonna be good. So I remember the day that I, I was walking down the street in Burlington and somebody rolled down the window and said, hey Russ, I really like your column. So I was like, all right, they're, they're okay. So then I got enough of them. I thought if these go good, I can collect them into a book. So those are reworked columns collected into two books. There's like 90 stories in each book, self-published. Not edited, edited for commas and if do you do you capitalize pop tart, but not but not edited. Take this paragraph out, put this here because uh, here again, Rena, we go back to the honesty. I'm not Christopher Hitchens, you know, I'm not, I'm not a writer's writer. So if you're gonna if I'm gonna sell you something, it's not gonna be something that I wrote and then some real writer came and made it right. It's gonna be raw, right? You know. Yeah, one of them's called Scrawlings. Scrawlins. Scrawlins. And the second one is Scrawlins 2, T-O-O. -O. I credit my mom for uh, coming up with that title, <laughs> T-O-O. -O. Yeah, the, and they sell still. And you know, I read them now. They're pretty, they're pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's great. Yeah. And you also... So that's how that happened. And again, I took the opportunity. Mm-hmm.